Hi guys, this is Pika10 and welcome to your 23rd Roblox Lua scripting tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, instead of covering the the new uh, part we were doing, I said I was going to do even, next time, which was going to be a mini game, which I'm sure a lot of you would have wanted to program, instead we're going to cover something which a lot of people have asked me to and I've realised that there were a few errors in the admin commands, which is debugging and understanding the output. Now, this isn't actually that tricky, but it just scares people because of all the weird technical language that they put in the output, so this should hopefully explain. There were no models for the scripting showcase, which is why I've skipped for today. Remember, you get 200 Robux for sending it in to me, um, and it will also be featured in here and in the set for others to take. And so, first of all, we're going to open our script. Now, at first glance, the script would probably look fine, as because I didn't test it at all. I didn't press play whenever we were doing it. I did not test the script still it looks so we probably won't be able to actually find any errors just looking at it and it takes too long so what the output provides us is actually debugging information for example when roblox scripts load it says it's loaded all the scripts it says it loads it creating toolbar advanced ai that's the plugin and then it has content failed for this blah 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 blah, blah because Atta does not trust it for a place, it's probably where I've tried to insert a model that can't be accessed. Serialization, that's, anim that's a plugin made by Animinus, but I'm, because of a Roblox update it broke it. Main.lower line 278 is the line, etc, etc. So what we're going to do today is debug some scripts and un help you understand the different er errors that come up. So first of all, to actually find the errors we need to press the play. And if you just pay close attention to the output at this point. Press play. Now first of all, we get the error workspace script 50. So this means in workspace, we we'll just look up workspace, and then in script, which is in workspace, so we're just going to go from workspace to script, and then colon 50 means it's at line 50. So we're going to have to go to line 50 of the script. So it's going to scroll down until it says line 50 here, and then it says do expected near if. Now that is actually one of the, a very simple error that confuses a lot of people because if you look at this if and you go hang on where shall I put a do is a do expected here where's a do this is right isn't it if then that's that's that is correct syntax but what we forgot above it because I was in a rush if you look by near it doesn't mean on the same line it could be on the line above so if we look at four IV in pairs what are we missing here we need a do in a for loop, as you probably remember. So if we look at other for loops that we've used, I'm just going to scroll down to a for loop. There we go. Look, do, for, for, do. So we're just going to need to add a do here. So that's that's a very simple error. You just add a do near if where it's expected. Just look through a certain area and see if you're missing one. And then you'll be able to find it very easily. So now we're going to press save. don't need to save it, but I, I'm paranoid with that. And then we've got another error. At line 62, do is expected near local. Now, this is almost exactly the same error, kept on different lines. So we'll go to 62, which is this line here. Local player equals V. Now, do is, again, on the 4 above it. We forgot to put a do. So I'm going to press play again. Oh, look, there's a common theme here. Line 104, a do is expected near then, so it's going to go down to line 104, for i equals 11, and we, inst actually this is slightly different in the sense that I put a then inst instead of a do, but it came up with the same error, so instead of having to look if, and go, instead of it saying a do expected near if, and then just looking up here and putting a do, it, I've actually just put a then, which is the wrong word to use, we need to use a do at this point, but it still says do expected near then, it doesn't say do expected instead of then. So now I'm going to press play again. Miss the play button. Hooray, that was all the errors. So that's all the actual syntax errors that they are in the script. It may have some other slight logic errors, as in it may, some things may break when they're actually working, but I don't have time to test that right now, and start player for some reason always disconnects for me. So instead, some other person that was following these tutorials has made what he thought was a admin commands, and well, he there were admin commands, but they were slightly broken. So he asked me to fix it for him. Now I explained the output errors to him, so he's he now knows what's wrong with the script. But I'm going to 
go ahead and insert it, which is now they're called Thomas's admin commands and in brackets don't work. Which is good English as we all know. So you can't see any problems with it as at the moment. He just has this, he's added the like the documentation, the commands. So now we're gonna go and press play. It says workspace.thomas's admin commands 100 end expected to close function at line 37 near Elsif. So what this error means is that on line 100 it expects to see an end. Now that's not necessarily where the end is needed. You have to remember that on the end errors it's just saying hang on we've reached line 100 and there's no end up to line 100. It could be anywhere from when it detected the start of the function that it should be ended and at the end. It doesn't have to be at line 100. It rarely ever is at line 100. So we're going to have to look in between and where it's detected at the start. So where's the function that it says we haven't actually ended is at line 37. So what we need to do is start at line 37 and then work our way down to 100 trying to find where an end is needed. It says near Elsif, but we can ignore that because that's just assuming it's going to be at line 100 as well. So we're going to open this and go straight to line 37, which is where we need to start. So now we see function get player. So this looks fine. There's no end. And remember, this is why we tab our code because a lot of people will write. You can write a function easily. I'm just going to add a function here randomly. Function does nothing. Buffing. You could just if something then nothing end end you don't have to tab your code it doesn't error but say if I put end 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 it's a lot harder if it's on a long script to actually find where you're missing an end whereas if we tabbed it we'd be able to see we tab it here inside here we tab it here we tab here and oh, no, look there's two so I say delete that and it's much easier to find it so we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to see where he hasn't tabbed the code properly, or if he has, where the end is missing. So we're going to, that's correct tabbing, then you tab the code there, that's good. Else if, remember else if is instead of an end, because you haven't actually ended the statement, you just provide an addition to it. So this is all fine. Tab, 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 tab. We're just going to look at here. Tabbed here. If end, end. End, 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 end. Here we go. And so now we're finding that here and actually this is tabbed incorrectly he hasn't put a tab here and so this is affecting all of this so instead of tabbing one by one what we can do is just literally click here highlight all the way down to here and tab it all and now we can find the error it goes on to the next function and we have a, we're missing an end so in fact remember it isn't at line 100 where it detected it which is here it's actually at line 74 we can just put an end here. So let's see if there's any more errors. I'm just going to save it again. Press play. And now line 101, it expects an eof. Now that eof stands for end of file, not end of function, as lots of people believe. End of file. And now end of file. Although it does mean end of file, it stands for end of file. It actually means it's expecting. It expects there to actually be an end needed, basically. That probably wasn't explained very well. It means you've put an end where there wasn't an end. So what it's saying is we're expecting a function to have ended where you've put the end, but that hasn't, which means you put an extra end accidentally. So we just need to remove an end or change the position of an end. And it says at line 101 but that doesn't necessarily mean it's 101 it doesn't even give us a starting point this time and so it's probably going to be before line 101 because it's saying that's where the end was expected so I'm going to look before so we're going to start at the beginning with a function which is the most likely place for it's not likely to be above it and we're going to see whether he's act added extra ends in at all so we're going to look here if string dot sub correctly tab 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 Oh look, and if you see, else ifs are always tabbed backwards, so if he's tabbed this correctly, it would be down here, which is wrong. Which means he would have actually noticed that he's put an if and an end, 
but instead of end the if statement, well, he has ended the if statement, he just needed to not end the if statement because we've actually put an else if afterwards. So instead of ending the if statement, you just need to remove the end because an else if is instead of an end because you're ad adding to the statement rather than ending it and then adding a new bit because that won't work. You just need to add an extra one with else if. So that's where that one's going missing. And we can assume he might have made this mistake more than once. Instead of going back, I'm just going to read through the extra def the rest of the function. He hasn't made any mistakes here. Else if for that's correct. Ashen, what's he done here? He's he's put an end without making a tab back. So see, this is the advantages of tabbing again. If he tabbed this correctly, he would have this going there, this going there, and then this going there, which is very wrong. But seeing as because we've got another else if here. This one isn't even needed for else if there, and we don't want to. We definitely don't want to end it again here. So we had two extra ends there, and so now we're going to look through and see if he's made a mistake again. Blah four blah blue blue made the mistake there. No no no. And now there is a mistake here, as we see. He's tab. He's backspace twice. He's Remove two tabs here, but just skipped an end. I don't know why he's removed two at once without noticing it, but if we're going to skip here, as you probably notice, an end is needed right here. And we're going to keep reading else if, that's correct, it's ended it here, and then for some reason he adds two extra ends here for no reason whatsoever, not needed. And let's see if there's any errors in this place now. End expected to close for at line 80 near Elsif. So we're going to look at line 80 and then go to line 85. They're the only things it could possibly be because it starts at line 80 and it's detected the error at line 85. So there it detected the missing end at line 85. So there's the the gap, the, the space. So it can only be between here and here. I must have missed something here. I'm going to start here. Oh yes, I did miss something. In an if statement, you have to remember to tab, and then remember to end the if statement. So we're going to put a tab here, and then if we tabbed it, then we see, oh look, we're missing something. So we're just going to put an end right there. So that might be the last of the errors. It now says then expected near local. Now this is similar to the to the uh, do error I had before with the original admin commands that we were making in the previous tutorials. So if we go to line 111, we'll see that here, it says near Elsif, so near here, no it doesn't, it says near local, so near here, we're missing a then, and remember it can be in the line above, so we're just going to look Elsif, oh look, we're missing a then at the end of that. I'm now going to press play, and see if there's any errors, do expected near then, on line 122. And that's a very similar error. I'm just going to whiz through this one, get to there. If he's put a then instead of do, I think he's actually just copied me in that error. See if there's any more errors. No, that's the end of that debugging. Now there are a few more errors I want to cover, which will help you debug your own scripts. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to insert my own script, and then see. Uh, test. So I'm now going to see spot the errors in here. So we're going to just randomly make a function a equals game dot players get players for example. And now we're going to press play here and it's going to say workspace dot test dot two function arguments expected near eof. Now the eof in this error wouldn't be here, it's only, it's just saying, instead of saying, for example, near then, or near local, or just near a keyword, it said near eof, because there is no keyword, so it just said near the end of file. And so, we can assume that's near the end. So, function arguments expected near it, means that we're missing the arguments for a function, obviously. So we're going to look, arguments, if you remember arguments for a function, they are the brackets that's, that you need to call a function. So if we wanted to make a function, the arguments would be here and here. But to call it with arguments, or they're actually strictly called parameters, there's a slight difference, I won't go into that now, but 
these are arguments we're going to put there and there and that will probably make it look a lot more familiar that is how to solve that error so now we're going to show I'm going to show you a different error a equals math dot random one oops I forgot to rewind it well let's do this again a equals math dot random one Remember, it doesn't actually matter where you put a space after it. You don't have to have a space there or there. It just makes it look nicer. Put play here. Oh, apparently that. Apparently, I don't actually do the math that random function that well, and that's actually correct. Let's see if this errors. Here we go. This is the. Well, not the error I was looking for, but a very similar error I wanted to show you. So it says workspace dot test dot one. So the line one of test will go there. Line one, which is the only line. Bad argument two to random interval is empty. Now, bad argument means that the argument is wrong, and as you know, the arguments are these bits. So this is the argument. It says bad argument two, which means a second argument is bad. So this is a this is wrong. We don't need to put one. And then it gives you a description. I'm not. It doesn't do this with all. Doesn't give you a description with all of them. That's because all not all of them have a description to provide. But this is just a a, a Lua function w that actually works with Lua rather than a Roblox added one. So it does have a description on it. And it, it says interval is empty. Now for ran for math dot random this means that is trying to find a random number between the minimum number of 1 and the maximum number of 0. So, if you take 1, then go up to find 0, you, 0 is below 1, and that's the maximum, and the minimum is 1, so that's not going to work, is it? That's why it's erroring. The interval between them is negative. So if we just change this to, say, find a random number between 1 and 2, it will work. So now, I think that's probably all I'm going to show in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'm sure it wasn't that interesting in this tutorial, but it will be very extremely useful for you when you're debugging your own scripts and trying to make them more selfie. In the next tutorial, we will actually be making our mini games. I promise you that. I just thought we needed to cover this, and a lot of people have actually been asking for me, so hopefully it won't be too dull. So, I'm going to give you a contest for the next tutorial. Hopefully I'll have enough Robux. Actually, I definitely have enough Robux. I won't. Hopefully I won't lose too much after I... Um, host the next tournament for Blade Master Elites, but I'm going to give you a script to debug. Okay, so this is a script which will have an output error associated with it, so I'm going to show you what that is now. I'm going to press play, it's going to come up with the error, and I'm going to go back onto here. So it's going to say, for initial value must be a number. Now, that's not exactly the error message that you would have seen a lot. I think that's the, actually the very first time I've actually seen that error message before. I thought it was going to say something different, actually. But it works just the same. You won't have seen it before either, probably. So, see if you can work out what it means. I know exactly how to solve it. The person who solves this problem first will win a thousand Robux if they're BC and be featured on the next tutorial. If they're not BC, then they don't get a thousand Robux, unfortunately, but they'll still be featured in the next tutorial. So, don't forget, you can submit your contest entry to me by YouTube message, by Roblox message, or by linking to me a model. Remember, make sure you include in the model name or in the model name or script that it's for Pick the Tens Contest, because otherwise I'll forget. And don't forget, you also have the scripting showcase, which you can submit a model for me, 200 Robux for anyone gets in, by watching these tutorials. And it will be also be submitted to the set and featured in the next tutorial. It will also be debugged and and you'll be told how you can improve your scripting if you can. If you can't, then you win 100x Robux if I can't actually find anything wrong with it. No, that hasn't actually been long enough for me to be possibly find anything wrong with it. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it's found it interesting, even if it's not been so exciting as the admin command ones, but try and debug the script remember for the contest i'll post all the details in the description and subscribe to my channel like this video and i'll see you next time